got him. Okay, we're here, we're at the lakeside. It's looking magnificent. A little bit of wind, which is perfect, just gives that leech, or whatever you're fishing, a little more natural presentation. But just got the boat in the water, I'll show you here. There we have it, boat's all loaded. Got three rods, got a floating that I use a chronomen indicator on. I've got my um, sink tip and then I got my full sink. That way you're prepared. Let's hit the water. Here we go, fish on. Nice. Feels like a decent fish too. There we go. Let's go. Nice. Ooh. It's not done. There we go. This is what we came for, people. There we go. Nice. All right, let's let this puppy go. There you have it. Okay. Got one on the Stripping a leech again on the drop off. It's been pretty quiet. I've been having a real tough go with, I'm using a three weight rod and uh, with a sink tip and with this wind, it's just a noodle and I can hardly cast a thing. So finally got a good spot with the wind at my back again in this corner of the bay and here we go, got one. Give me a little shower, cool me off, sweet. See the smoky sky from that fire over here coming out. Should be all right, should miss us. It's, it was a half an hour drive away, so keep at it. Got him. Fish on.
this. This is being a night when it turns on. It turns on and uh, I skipped dinner because the lake just went flat calm and then all these fish were riding. So I was like, I gotta come back out here. Good call. Got him, little guy. Little pan fry. Snapped me off. Yep. Snapped me off. Shoot. The thing with fly fishing is what's so great about it is you're matching the hatch. So you're Tying up flies, well I tie up some flies, pretty basic flies, that in nature, in the lake, the trout are eating those. If you can figure out the trout are what they're eating, you're gonna tie that on and you're just gonna have a great time. So you gotta pay attention to your surroundings. When I show up to a lake, I'm looking in the shallows, seeing what's under the rocks, if there's shrimp, if there's leeches swimming around, go to their staple foods. So I threw in a leech, I was hitting that, then all of a sudden, lake went dead calm, boom, and we're back time to throw in the bowman and it was just game over it was just seeing the ripples cast into the ripple and then you just hold on wang see another ripple cast wang they like when the bowman hits and it makes a little ripple and you do like a couple tweaks and then just they come and go gobble it up um, so fly fishing if you haven't tried it you got to it's a must it is so thrilling it's just you and the fish and the fly line. You, I hardly ever use a reel. I normally strip in unless I got a hog and dog. Then I'm gonna tie up and reel up and play by the reel, but it's great fun. Oh crud. Look at all these mozzies, man. Oh shoot. In my, oh man. Wide open. Look at them. Oh boy. This is going to be one interesting night. They love my blood. I just got annihilated when I was out on the boat earlier. I had my feet bare and they were just attacking it like a hot dog. Brutal. Tonight is going to be rough. Crud. So this is how I'm sleeping tonight guys. This is absolutely brutal. The mosquitoes had made a truce until I turn off the light. Then all of a sudden they just were like attack and they were on my lip, they were on my hands. So I'm gonna sleep with my shirt. This is my shirt over my face, make a little hole for my mouth. Help me somebody, what is your idea for getting rid of mosquitoes out of your truck camper? Send help. Okay guys, that was a rough, 
a rough go. There were so many mosquitoes in there, 30 plus mosquitoes in there. I had my uh, shirt over my head like I showed you and it was just so loud by my ear. I just could not sleep on and off for a little bit. So finally I just ended up waking up and just going to town, whacking these things with my hat, just bang, 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 bang them as much as I could, killing a bunch. Fell back asleep this morning. I woke up at quarter past six. I'm like, okay, this is just oh, way too early for me. So I, uh, I put the sleeping bag, because it's long, remember? It's a long sleeping bag. I put it way over my head and I'm like, I'm just gonna have this tiny little slip by my mouth. And it was still like, yeah, a, inches away from the gap. And I wake up, a blooming mosquito, I inhale it into the back of my throat. So I wake up having a coughing fit, <laughs> just coughing away, hacking a lung. It got to the point where it was so long, I'm like, huh, like maybe I didn't swallow a mosquito. Then all of a sudden I feel it in the back of my throat, pull it out and it's on my finger. And I was like, are you kidding me? The last thing I want is somebody else's blood or something or an animal's blood in my back of my throat. That's just disgusting. So I'm awake now. I'm out here in the bush and I'm ready to uh, just cook some eggs, load up the bow and just sit out in it because I could not sleep, that was brutal. Taking on waves, people taking on waves. <laughs> Shoot. Look at them going up. Perfect timing, check this out. There's 3,200 rainbows going in right now into the lake. What, I've never seen this, such a cool experience. Look at them all. was the first still water trip of the season. What a trip that was. Hey, that was an awesome first still water trip out at a lake, a bit of a drive from home base. 
but uh, the weather was great. It's a good thing I didn't turn around because of that fire. Last night I ended up going out, I didn't see any smoke stack from it anymore. But the fish were here, the fish were on, they were biting. I was moving spots every 15, 20 minutes. If I wasn't getting any, some corners only had one fish, a little bite, nothing else. They loved the movement this time. So I was trying to be lazy and use an indicator and just sit and have a drink, but no, they wanted a stripping. So that's what we did, got into a bunch. But um, yeah, I appreciate you guys, thanks for tuning in. May you please give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed yourself. It helps me out to continue making more videos in the truck. Truck camping is not just about fishing. I do everything. And so until then, I'll see you on the other side.